Chris Beatty here for Vocal Coach with a practical tip to help you become a better singer and become more aware of your voice. So here's the question. Do you know what your voice sounds like to others? I mean, what does your speaking voice sound like to others? What does your natural default singing voice sound like to others? And the fact is most of us don't know. We're used to recording a message on our cell phones, then being kind of shocked at the sound of it, only to find out from our friends that, yeah, that is how they hear our voices. Well, why is there this difference between what we hear and what others hear? Well, here's the answer. We get a preview of sound that comes up the side of the face, right into the ears. In addition to that, we get some inner vibration in the ear and the head, and we judge that as being our sound, but it really isn't. Well, then the question is, how can we find out what we sound like so we know without having to record it? Well, the answer is found in something as simple as this. I'm going to use these file folders as sound deflectors. Go ahead and look around where you are right now and find some file folders, maybe a couple of magazines, a um, couple of pieces of paper, something that you can put up in front of your ears sticking out from the side of your head that will block that preview of sound that comes up the side of the face. Now, when I talk to you like this, it sounds just the same to you, but it sounds quite different to me because the sound is now going out in front of me, around the room, and it's affected by temperature, humidity, number of people present, thickness of carpet, just all these variables, then around into my ear. And that's what the listener hears. So I want you to find something, put it up in front of your ears. If you can't find anything else, use your hands. And we're going to count from one to five. I'll do it first and then you do it and see how different your voice sounds to you. One, two, three, four, five. Now you do it. It sounded different, didn't it? Now this time, let's go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the sound changed as far as you heard, but to the listener, it didn't change at all. In other words, we're not used to what our own voices sound like. Why is this important? Because it helps you get a handle on how others hear your voice. In future Vocal Tips, we'll be answering more of your questions about your voice, so be sure to visit us at www.vocalcoach.com or visit the blog at blog.vocalcoach.com. That's blog.vocalcoach.com. For Vocal Coach, this is Chris Beatty.